Hi guys, Astra here, obviously. Um, and I wanted to come in. We are starting the um, Design Your Divine Self-Love two-week course today. And um, I've been guided to come in and bring um, the healing energy of rose quartz, of the, the gemstone rose quartz into our energy um, and we can choose to integrate it if we so desire. Rose quartz helps to um, connect us with our love energy and it's really a lovely, really comforting stone to have near your heart and to use when you're doing self-love work and when you're just simply sitting there practicing saying I love you to yourself. Um, funnily enough, I didn't think to actually bring a physical rose quartz. I work so vibrationally that I didn't think to have a physical rose quartz stone in here with me. I don't think I have one. No, no. Um, but that's okay. It's, it's, well, regular quartz is clear, sometimes with like little rainbow inclusions. Uh, rose quartz is, um, it's translucent, so if you hold it up to the light, the light shines through, but the color of it is like this very soft, almost creamy kind of pinkish. Um, maybe the edges are more clear, but, but it's this creamy, lovely, soft, comforting pink, um, usually lighter pink. Um, although sometimes I've seen it, not bright pink, but where it's still light pink, but the tone is more, um, more intense. <laughs> but in general, it's very soft. It's creamy. It's pink. It's, oh, what did I say? Did I say it was translucent? What did I mean? I think that's what I meant. Opaque is where you can't see through it, right? And transparent is where you can see through it. Translucent is where you can see light shining through it. That's what this rose quartz is. So bringing in the energy of rose quartz gemstone a gift from the earth into our energy fields. You can choose to integrate it or not. Um, if you do integrate it, it will feel very gentle and relaxing and soft and cozy, like a hug um, or a cup of hot cocoa whether you, you do that with dairy or soy milk or almond milk, um, it'll feel like, like a very soft, comforting blanket, like fleece, or your favorite quilt that you snuggle up under. It's very much like having a purring kitty cat snuggled up to you, or a happy little cuddly puppy dog or a fuzzy <laughs> guinea pig, if that's what you are into. <laughs> I've had my, oh, speaking of kitty cats. Come here, cat. You're nice. This is Zoe, and she's mad at me for picking her up, but she just came in. Look at the camera. Say hi to the camera, goofball. Zoe the cat. <laughs> she came in for the healing. She's like, put me down. <laughs> And yeah, just allowing that energy to flow through every every cell of your being. She's she's meowing up a storm back here. There's her tail going back and forth. Hi, cuckoo. Oh, she's cuddling up to me. You're a cuckoo. Yeah, you are. She's like, am I? <laughs> yeah, you are. You're cuckoo. Sorry, I'm going crazy with my kitty cat. Um. Yeah, and I'm, I'm getting to allow your um, your belly to relax. I personally tend to hold my tummy kind of clenched in a lot without even knowing that I'm doing it. Um, and just relax. And whatever, if there's any muscles in your body that are holding on to any stress or tension, just allowing those to relax and taking some deep breaths. <laughs> cat is going cray cray. 
cray cray head. Um, <laughs> our old kitty Daniel used to always have to be right next to me when I was doing these healing things. She's taking over his um, his position. <laughs> Like I heard, I was reading the kitty newspaper and I saw that there was a job opening <laughs> as healing kitty cat. Yes, you're hired. You're hired. Goofball. Yeah, mama's goofball. <laughs> I didn't know this was going to be a cat healing, <laughs> but it makes sense. Um, as obviously cats are great teachers of self-love. They know what they want. They know how to ask for it. And they pretty much usually get it. Um, and they're also loving and purring and cuddly when they decide to be. <laughs> I wish you could see her face. Oh, Zoe. Here, let's see. Zoe, that's a good girl. You're a good girl. Mm. Yeah, magic. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm guided to do a little energy clearing just with the singing bowl. And I don't. I'm going to try not to do it too loud because I don't want to wake up the household. And last but not least, I was guided to do a little quickie three card reading from the Louise Hay Power Thought uh, card deck, and which is great because her affirmations are very self-loving. And I just, I really liked all these three messages together as well. So number one is this one. As I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Now this one, all about forgiveness. Forgiveness of myself and others releases me from the past. Forgiveness is the answer to almost any problem. I'm sorry, almost every problem. Forgiveness is a gift to myself. I forgive and I set myself free. Ooh, felt that one in my back. And then, now that we're saying yes to our lives and yes to ourselves, and forgive everything, we're ready to be successful. Everything I touch is a success. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I touched y'all. Everything I touch is a success. Ooh, I'm getting to take a deep breath on that one. And even put your hand on your heart because everything you touch is a success. A self-loving success. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> shivers, shivers. All right, me hearties. <laughs> no pun intended. Ha, heart, me hearties. All right, well, um, let me know how this goes for you. And I'm excited that we're getting started today. Self-love. <laughs> Self-love. Okay, bye.